To start the series off, let's begin with understanding the tablet, the settings, and where you would go if you'd want to edit those. And this could be for a first time user plugging in the tablet for the first time, or maybe you've used a tablet for a while but you just want to catch yourself up to speed on how to edit the different settings, what they are, and maybe if you need even to troubleshoot because you're having problems with your tablet, hopefully this tutorial will answer that. When plugging in the tablet for the first time, and that could be on a PC or a Mac, there's a chance that it may just work for you right away and you don't even have to edit that many settings to use it comfortably. But there is also that chance that it may not even show up at all. And in that case, you might have to download the driver specific to your tablet. And I'm going to go through that a bit later, but for now I'm going to take you through the settings on if it shows up in your system preferences. And on a Mac, that's um, under your applications. And if you're on a PC, you just open control panel and choose your tablet preferences. So in this case, I'm using a Wacom Intuos 4 tablet, and you can see down here in the other, a Wacom tablet shows up. So I click it, and it'll open up this menu. And if you had multiple tablets installed, then they would all appear on this very top row where it says tablet. Now underneath of that, this, the tool settings are specific to whatever tablet selected. So since I have the Intuos 4 selected, it shows that I have a functions, and a grip pen tool that I can go ahead and edit the settings for. And for now, uh, we're not going to go through application, but if you wanted to set up specific applications for the tablet to work for, you can do that by pressing this plus and then adding the software. But all should be able to cover almost every software that your computer has, so there's really no need to add any. So I'm going to focus on editing the different tools that a tablet has. So most tablets have buttons usually somewhere on the tablet itself. And in this case, I'm using Intuos 4 tablet, and it has buttons on only one side of the tablet. And for you, it could either be on the side, it could be on the top, it could be on both sides. But just know that the functions tool covers that. So if you wanted to go in and change what each of the buttons are from either clicks or keystrokes, and you could even set it up to specific things like Control Z. And for me, I like keeping my left hand on the keyboard, so I'm not really using the side buttons as much. But if you're someone that really likes to use the side buttons and maybe even the scroller wheel, or in this case it's called a touch ring, uh, you can go in and literally edit each of those settings individually and make it personalized to how you like to use it. So the other tool that we can go in and edit the settings for is the grip pen. And all tablet pens are going to be a little different, but for the most part they'll have side buttons and eraser. But that doesn't mean yours will, so you might not even have any side buttons and you may not even have an eraser. But in this case we do and we can go ahead and edit those settings individually for each. So the first thing that pops up in our little sub menu here is the tip feel. Now this one's really important because it registers how much pressure you're putting on the tablet. So if you go more towards soft, you can barely push down on the tablet and it'll register as almost full as you can see by this little bar here. And if you change it to more firm, when I'm pressing about the same amount down on the tablet, you can see how it barely fills up, and then when you're drawing, it'll register as a very low opacity if you have it on. So I like to keep mine somewhere in the middle, but you can go ahead and kind of play with those settings and see what's more comfortable for you. You can also change the double click distance and the tilt sensitivity, but the other big thing that you can edit here is what the buttons on the actual pen itself do. So you can go ahead and click one of them and you can see how all these different options pop up and they're going to be the same for each and it may take you a little bit to figure out what you want to those buttons to be specifically. Now for me, since I'm using my tablet a lot outside of Photoshop as well, whether it's either web browsing or editing something, I like to have these settings be multifunctional where not only are they useful in Photoshop, but they're useful outside of it as well. So my bottom one I like to have as a pan or a scroll. So while I'm in Photoshop, it allows me to look around my canvas if I'm zoomed in, but it also allows me to scroll down a web page. And my upper click is a right click. And in Photoshop, that opens up the brush menu really quickly. And outside of that, it just acts as a regular right click. So I can go ahead and, you know, create things really quick. So now if you look at the second sub menu, what's cool is not only can you edit the specific pen features and functions, but you can go ahead and edit the eraser itself as well. So maybe you want the eraser to be more of a soft feel where your pen might be more of a firm. You can go ahead and edit them individually. And you can also even change it to being something else, but I just recommend keeping it as an erase so that it doesn't become confusing. So the last one is mapping. And this one's important because you can change your orientation, the screen area, 
and maybe you're working on two monitors, this is where you would go to edit things like that. So if you don't already have it set as full and full, I would recommend doing that. So that way your tablet can go from the corners of your screen without it uh, you know, missing any area of it. So those are the different tools that this specific tablet has, and you may have more, but most of them will just have a functions and a grip pen. So after editing the different settings for the tablet, you still may notice that it's not working properly. And in most cases, it's because you don't have the right driver installed. And a driver is a small computer program that allows your computer to interact with the tablet specifically. So in this case, since I'm using a Wacom tablet, I would go to the Wacom website, and the drivers are found under the support tab. Now I would go here and download the latest. So from here, I would choose my tablet model I'm using Intuos 4, and my operating system is a Mac. So they list the newest ones on the very top, so you'd go ahead and download that, and this has solved most of the tablet questions that we've gotten at our support. So if your tablet still isn't working properly, even after downloading the latest driver, then send us an email at support at cgcookie.com and we will get you going. And all of this that we covered was also in the handout that was created for this tutorial. So if you just want a written step-by-step, -step, you can refer to that as well. So thanks for watching the first part, and then in the next part, we're going to go through downloading and installing a software.